Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So I thought, I guess in honor of Mother's Day today, first I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all of the moms out there. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, however you choose to celebrate it, whether it's with the family or with not. I can see both sides. <laughs> but have a great Mother's Day. I wish my mom a very, very special, wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. I don't know how I would do this crazy life without her. She's a huge help. But in honor of Mother's Day, I thought I would take a look at some of the books that I have and that I've read. Um, and this is just something I put together really quick and so there's probably more books out there that I could talk about with this subject, but this is just kind of what I've compiled so far. But I would, thought I'd talk about books that have unforgettable mothers in them for one reason or another um and we'll go from there and we'll see what happens so the first one i want to talk about is the life she was given by ellen murray wiseman so this follows our main character lily this is 1931 um and she we find out that she is kind of being hidden away in the attic of her house by her parents because she was born different and her mother decides that um, the only way to kind of move on is to sell Lily to the circus. I told you, unbelievable mothers. There are other mothering aspects of this story I won't get too far into, um, but it's a dual timeline and so you're discovering what happened in Lily's life as well as what happened with um, Julia as well. So very, very good book. Um, but a little sad to start out with, with how Lily's mom treats her and what she does with her. In her defense, it was kind of, things weren't as accepted in the 30s, I guess, as they maybe are today. But anyways, the next one I want to talk about is Little Mercies by Heather Guttenkopf. This follows our main character, Ellen Moore. She's a social worker. So she is on the front lines and sees the worst of humanity. She sees the way other parents treat their children and how horrible they treat them. And she does anything and everything she can to save them and get them out of those situations, including sacrificing her time with her family and her own children. One very, very hot summer day, um, so both she's a social worker her husband also has a job they have a very very busy life very hot day she ends up um, responding to an incident with one of her cases um, and goes and deals with that and comes back to the car to find that she has forgotten that she had her youngest child with her and her child was sleeping in the van and she had left it locked in the hot sun for too long so very interesting book. I see a lot of myself in um, in <clears throat> Ellen and what she was like and how she kind of lived this crazy, crazy life. Um, she also finds it very interesting that she now ha is on the other side of kind of the social work aspect of it and the other side of what she deals with on a daily basis and gives her a very interesting perspective that way. So fantastic book. I highly recommend Little Mercies by Heather Gutkoff, but a very extraordinary mother in that one. The next one I want to talk about is Leaving Time by Jodi Picoult. Now the mother in this book isn't necessarily the main character. Our main character is Jenna and she has been, she can't stop thinking about her mom. Um, but Jenna's love for her mom is what really drives a whole lot of this story. Um, her mom's name is what? Alice. And Alice, um, started an elephant refugee, um, I think in the Northeast in the United States, maybe, or was it Tennessee? Something like that. Um, she also had spent some time in Africa with elephants. And so you, Alice taught Jenna all about, ele all about elephants and she grew up around elephants and she grew up with this just immense love for her mom and that really kind of is the backdrop of this whole entire story is this mother-daughter bond that was there um or that is there um i can't say too much else about this this is a fantastic book this is like mm, very closely tied there's two jody Picot books that are in my like top five favorite books of all time it's leaving time and then the storyteller and this is like 
This is top three favorite book of all time. It's fantastic. An awesome, awesome mother in that one. The next one I want to talk about talks about parenting in general. There are a number of different mothers that are involved with In Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. I just read this not that long ago, this, um, earlier this year, actually. Um, and this centers around an accident that happened and people go to trial for it and you uncover some motives within a number of different mothers. So what happens is there's an accident during a therapy session that is meant for kids um, who have disabilities. And so one of them I think is very autistic. One of them has, is it cerebral palsy? Um, so all of these kids have some sort of disability. They're going through the same therapy at the same time and an accident happens um, resulting in death and injury. Um, and it really digs into what it is to be a mother, what it is to be a good mother, both before and after the tragedy. Very, very interesting perspectives in here, all about parenting and doing what's best for your kids, um, both for the kids who are involved with this as well as um, some other children. And it's very, very interesting. Very interesting mothers. Absolutely. The next one I want to talk about is The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman. I read this one quite a while ago and I really, really loved this story. So this takes place in the early 1900s. We are um, following the life of a lighthouse keeper, um, kind of off by himself in Australia. So not on the main land of Australia, but on its own little island, little lighthouse. You're very deserted. Um, follows him and him falling in love and then taking his wife there and his wife all she has ever dreamed of is being a mom and she is having the hardest time getting pregnant and staying pregnant and she just prays and prays and prays and he prays and prays and prays for a child and one day a boat ends up on this very desolate island with a baby in it and the person in the boat with the baby has died and they're kind of faced with, well, what do we do? Well, of course, they take care of the baby from the beginning. But again, this is a very remote island. Not a lot of people are going back and forth. It's not like you just go over the bridge or hop in the boat and you're on the mainland quickly. It's not like that. Supplies come every like three or four months and it kind of goes from there. Do they keep the baby and claim it as their own? Do they take it back? It very much appears that this baby is abandoned. What do they do? How do they even try to find any family? They're just faced with a lot of interesting dilemmas and the role of a mother comes into play in this book in a very interesting way. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think I gave it five stars. It was great. Um, I could never have a video talking about mothers and not include Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty, right? So this centers around a bunch of moms of kindergartners and their interactions with each other and the drama <laughs> and all of the stuff that happens from there. Um, very interesting, very different ways of mothering, very different um, family lives that are experienced within this book. And there's of course a nice little murder mystery to go along with it. So it's got all kinds of things in it, but it's a very good book. I, I really enjoyed it. I haven't read Leanne Moriarty in a while. I gotta pick her up again. Next one I want to talk about is The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. This one takes place in the 70s and follows um, our main character is really Lenny. She's a 13 year old girl and she is, um, her dad just got back from Vietnam and is suffering some, from some pretty severe PTSD. And he has decided that the best thing for their family is to move to Alaska. So they do. And it's great while it's summer in Alaska but when winter hits, it's not so great. And Lenny's mom does anything and everything she can to A, keep Lenny safe and be her mom, but also B, be very loyal to her husband. Knowing that he isn't who he used to be, but not really knowing how to help him and yet keep Lenny safe. It's a very interesting mother-daughter relationship. Interesting in how she prioritizes her daughter and her husband at the same time, also with moving to Alaska and dealing with all of this and just plain surviving. Very interesting. It's 
beautiful. It is fantastic and it will also tear your heart out. It's awesome. Read that one for sure. And then of course we're going to go with a classic because again, I can't picture talking about mothers and not bring up Mrs. Weasley from Harry Potter. Um, Mrs. Weasley is Ron Weasley's mom and she is probably the closest thing that Harry will ever have to a mom. She fully accepts him and brings him into her family and mothers him as he should be the entire series. Mrs. Weasley is amazing. I love her. She even makes Harry knits him his own little sweaters <laughs> just like she does for her kids. Um, and she has no problem reprimanding if she needs to. Although she just really loves Harry. I think she loves Harry almost more than her own children, but I could see why. So can't, can't go on without saying Mrs. Weasley. Fantastic mom. So again, very interesting mothers in all of these books. For one reason or another, the mother figure plays a pretty big role in a lot of these books, and I suggest all of them. They're fantastic. So, And for all of the moms out there, I hope you have a really, really great Mother's Day. I hope you get pampered or served or whatever it is that you desire um, every Mother's Day. Uh, the only thing I ask for is I just want to read for some bit of it. So I don't know what we're going to do. It's very interesting this year. Um, I saw a t-shirt that says Mother's Day 2020, the one where we were all quarantined. I thought that was hilarious, but I'm hoping we can get outside and have some family time. Otherwise, comment below if there's any good books out there with some interesting mothers that I need to pick up. Um, I definitely will. I'm always looking for suggestions. So like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.